But now, the moment you've been waiting for, the floor is yours, Eric. Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't recognise myself in almost all of that. Uh, uh, I, I haven't I hadn't prepared anything to say because I wasn't really sure uh, what we were doing. I'm just, um, I just want to say how... We weren't going to warn you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say how greatly appreciative I am, honestly. It's um, short, apart from uh, my husband agreeing to marry me, I think this is the nicest thing that anybody's ever done for me. So thank you very, very much in, indeed. Um, I just, I, what, I, what, what really thrilled me when I thought that you were organising this is that you, that you, you were organising something to talk about the work. And genuinely, that we know each other really well because that's actually what it's all about. Um, the, I mean, whoever, well, the people who did, not whoever, because some of you are here, the people who came up with the idea of SHAP were genuinely inspired, you know, that we actually took the passion and outrage of the medical professions and conveyed it into something useful that can be communicated into policy and drawing on research and bringing all that into action, the evidence into action thing. I love that, Carol. I don't, I'm not sure if I came up with that, but I'll take the credit for it. Um, but all of that kind of coming together, the, the, the founders of SHAP um, are, should be rightly pleased with themselves. And SHAP is still seen and increasingly seen as a really important uh, influence on international alcohol policies, not just not just in, 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 the, in the UK or in Scotland. Um, I do want to say, um, honestly, I, I feel embarrassed to, that um, this is none of this was down to me. It's actually all of these things, all of these achievements. Peter Rice and I have actually been hand in hand, uh, partners, sparring partners sometimes. Uh, it's been brilliant, Peter. I absolutely, you were my mentor. I learned so much from you. I came in, I don't know if you remember, I came in saying, I don't believe in minimum unit price. I think it disadvantages people. And uh, so I, you helped me kind of realise Correctly, I realised that I actually I had misunderstood some of the for some of the um, the evidence for that, and I'm really grateful to you for uh, for providing me with those opportunities. Uh, the recovery community has been incredibly important to me, and I want to thank all of the speakers who have come here today. You know, Donald coming from the government, everyone, my recovery friends, everyone. I'm sorry if I miss anybody out. I really don't mean to. Uh, you're all you're 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 all there. I think just just. None of this is done um, on, by one person or two people. And the strength, I think, of SHARP going forward is that, you know, it's, it's revitalising. It's um, Eleanor, uh, Chris, Alistair. It's fantastic to hear about all the things that you're doing. I look at your... Um, I look at look at your news news items and I think they're much better than we did. This is and that's great. That's fantastic that they're better than what we were doing before. Felicity, that isn't to say you weren't doing great great things before. <laughs> but I realise she's on there. Uh, but I want to say thanks to Felicity as well. Felicity, it was so much fun with you. It was so much fun with it with it with Jackie as well. Um, but really the and. But really uh, bringing the evidence into action, I think, so that we've actually got evidence-based policy is what it's all been really about. And I, what, one of the things that I was really pleased about um, as I was leaving was, was it not, not just down to me, but down to Lindsay Patterson, who kind of took over on the interim uh, period when I first went to WHO. And I really want to appreciate Lindsay here as well, um, was that we actually managed to secure uh, Sarn. Sarn has been kind of uh, for a long time kind of you know reliant on the goodwill of, of a number of people but actually now it's got some funding the Scottish government has committed to that uh, for me that's just another example of uh, civil servants with um, ambition and, and vision uh, coming alongside the NGOs exactly in the way, the way that um, Donald Henderson described it. I'm really sorry if I haven't if I've missed anybody, I just want to say thank you so much. It's the nicest thing, and I the work is what's important. We should be outraged uh, by the fact that we have so many people, a million people in the WHO European region dying every year directly because of alcohol, but we should also be aspirational for people to have the lives, the recovery that, that people like Jarden and Michaela were talking about. So thank you so much. Thanks very much, Eric.